Evelyn here once again and welcome back to the channel. As always, the first thing first, most importantly, a huge thank you to all of you for continuing to support me. This week we're continuing our journey to create your very own dream vintage casual wardrobe. And to do that, this week I'm going to show you how to create an all-in-one sleeve block. To do so, you are going to need your jersey bodice block. So if you haven't created one yet from last week's video, I'll pop a card up here to the video and a link as always is in the description box. So as always, grab a smile, grab some pattern paper and some markers and let's get drafting. <sighs> How many takes did that take this week? Phew. All-in-one sleeve tops, also known as dolman or kimono sleeve tops, were especially popular in the 1950s. And patterns for designs like these created chic and stylish garments that were also quick and easy to sew. So grab your jersey block your pattern paper, a marker pen and your ruler and we're ready to get drafting. The measurements you will need today are shoulder point to wrist, shoulder point to three quarter sleeve, shoulder point to short sleeve, your wrist circumference, and your three-quarter sleeve arm circumference. Taking your jersey block, we are going to begin by tracing the front block. Placing our block to the far left of our pattern paper in order that we have enough space to draft our sleeve to the right. Taking your ruler, mark half an inch above the shoulder point, joining this mark to the neck point like so, creating a new shoulder point. From this new shoulder point, we're going to continue this line, plotting our shoulder point to wrist measurement like so. As always, I do suggest that you draft in pencil. I'm simply drafting here in marker so that you can see. From the edge of that new sleeve line, square down, plotting half of your wrist circumference plus half an inch of ease. We are now going to work on the side of our pattern, coming down from the arm side by approximately one third the measurement of our side seam and make a mark. From that mark, come outwards by one and one quarter inches and make a mark. We are then going to curve a line down from that point to meet the bottom edge of our pattern like so, and a French curved ruler can come really handy here. We are then going to join that mark to the bottom of our wrist seam like so, and this is a pretty long curve, and as you can see, I do have some issues using my French curve for such a long curve, so I end up freehanding it. Just take your time here and be patient with yourself. And there is our front all-in-one sleeve block. I do suggest that you plot a couple more measurements on too. Just like we plotted our shoulder point to wrist measurement, I suggest you also plot your shoulder point to short sleeve measurement and your shoulder point to three-quarter sleeve measurement too, just so you have those options on this block as well. Square lines down to meet the lower sleeve seam to create your short sleeve and three-quarter sleeve lines. 
for the short sleeve line, I have created my line to be parallel to the side seam. Now label your front block, remembering that this pattern does not contain any hem allowance and you will need to add this when you are cutting out your fabric anywhere it needs hemming, for example waistlines, the end of sleeves and necklines. Cut out your pattern and there is your all-in-one block front complete. For the purposes of drafting today, we are going to flip our back pattern over and trace it like this in order to mirror our front pattern. Trace around your back block and we are tracing using this orientation because in a moment we are going to use our front block that we've just drafted to match up our seams and seam lines. We are then going to repeat the first few steps from our front all-in-one block, coming up half an inch from the shoulder point and making a mark, then joining this mark to the edge of the neckline like so. From this point, we are then going to plot our shoulder point to wrist measurement outwards, drawing a line like so. Grabbing your newly made front block, use it as somewhat of a template to create your remaining seam lines for your back bodice block, lining it up at the neckline edge and the bottom of the side seam like so to do so. Once again, from our shoulder point, we are going to plot our shoulder point to short sleeve and shoulder point to three quarter sleeve measurements, squaring down from these marks to create our short and three quarter sleeve lines on our back bodice. It is a good idea here to, to check that your three quarter sleeve line is at least half of your three quarter sleeve circumference plus half an inch of ease, otherwise your top will be too tight. Make sure that this is the case and if not, create a slightly wider curve to allow for this. Grabbing my front bodice block, I once again place it over my back bodice to ensure that my sleeve lines match up, making any alterations needed to ensure that my pattern is going to be as accurate as possible. Label your block before cutting it out, remembering to remind yourself to add those hem allowances and your block is all finished. Label your block before cutting it out, remembering to remind yourself to add those hem allowances and your block is all finished. There you have it friends, another block pattern to add to your collection and next week I'm going to show you how to create two wonderfully vintage casual t-shirts using this very block. But until then, enjoy your week, be kind, be safe, be you. Take care guys, bye!